be happy, won't she? Really uh, looking like it's going to be an upset. They think they can knock him out. But they just want... Yeah, well, that, well, it's it's smart advice. I, I thought he should have jumped on Fernandez. Idea what they need to do, and who can argue because they've been successful so far. But I still can't get over how easy Ross is hitting Fernandez. You've got Troy Ross two points ahead at the moment. Yeah, I think that round, that knocked on in the fifth round, was enough. And we are at the halfway stage of the fight, into round seven here. Crowd trying to rouse Hernandez. Oh, lovely work there by Hernandez. Now we're seeing some of the skills. Nice little three-punch combination, then slipping off to the side. Needs more of them, that's a solid right hand. He does have that lovely loose style, a terrific variety of shots. But the big question now has to be, can Ross find another of those big power shots? Yeah, Hernandez is a lovely, he does have a like, proper Cuban-esque style, doesn't he? But he's just too easy, he's too easy to hit and I can't get over. I thought Ross would have real trouble trying to land clean punches on him. Will he rue that fifth round when he just couldn't find the follow-up punch? The fight looked to be there for the taking. The referee unquestionably did Hernandez favours. Well, in Whether hindsight, intentionally or otherwise, I'm not saying it's a, a crooked movement, but he certainly, by his actions in there, he certainly gave Hernandez a little bit more chance to recover than might have been the case. Well, I'm sure he's away. He's the whole I think Hernandez from from wrong one should have shut up shop. I think he tried to mix it with Ross. Sometimes it's hard to get out of a rhythm, isn't it? Once you've Started went off in a, in a in a boxing match. He needs to get back to his boxing. No, John needs to throw that punches. Nice sharp jabs, backhands. Right eye of Ross is just starting to swell up a little. Underneath the eyes, not affecting his vision as yet, but he's clearly marking up. Yeah, and clearly getting a boxing this wrong also, isn't he, Ross? Threatening him but not doing much, is he? This is what Hernandez needed to do. Penalty. He continued boxing his way, keeping it at range, as he has done in this round. Then it could be his fight still. Yeah, and also keeping Ross on the back foot so he can unleash the power shots. Hernandez has won this round for me, Barry. Yeah, he, he boxed, boxed much better that round. There you go. Keep the gloves up. Boxing. And he's jabbing. Said, I think he's saying jab and slide back. And look. But he's getting caught sometimes after he finishes throwing his combination. So just throwing that jab and sliding back. Carries on as he did in the last round. Well, they both had good wins in they recently, John. Cool Kai and X. Well, can Ross take it up to another level again? Trying to double up on that southpaw jab. Altogether a more cagey affair now. Yeah, this is how we should have started the fight off, wasn't it, really? Maybe over eager trying to impress the fans. Good work. Lovely body shot. Yeah, double up that left hook, a right hook, really nice. <laughs> this is where he invites Ross, isn't it, to come on. When he stands in.
a big shot for a little while now. Just needs to get himself back into the fight at this point. Yeah, he's struggling, isn't he, just to get past that soft ball. But he has That's where he wants to be. But he slowly backed Hernandez up to the ropes, didn't he? Without really, without, without me even noticing. And now he can work away. <laughs> Stage of the fight that you feel is important. Who can seize the initiative and move on from here? Yeah, I, th I think Hernandez needs to keep throwing. When he pours that jab out, he invites Ross to come back with the with the left hand over. The and that's what he doesn't need to do. Just needs to keep slipping that jab out, sliding out the range. With Wagner trying to give words of advice to Hernandez, but equally important in the other corner, what Christopher Amos can impart to Troy Ross, who almost got in there in that close exchange with a, a left hook to the head. Well, what's happening when Ross gets close, he's dipping very low, but Hernandez is still standing very tall, so those big bolos, those big shots over the top are catching Hernandez flush on the jaw. When he gets in a clinch or gets close, he needs to dip his legs a bit, be a smaller target. That's the one. Hernandez takes it well, though. Come on, man, yeah, he's shown a good chin, hasn't he, Hernandez, in this fight? Needed to, my goodness. Hernandez round? Yes, for me, John, yeah, I think he's done the majority of the work. So on your card now, it's all square. Eight rounds completed. Where does it go from here? It's a double in up with the... Hernandez, of course, does have experience of going that championship distance. Just showing there in the replay now, when they get close, Ross is dipping, dipping low, throwing a left hand over the top, and it's always catching Hernandez on the temple because he stands so tall. There. Good shot. That's, 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 that, that's that danger shot. And it's all his body weight on that shot as well. So just four rounds remaining, IBF Cruiserweight Championship of the World. The defending champion in the red shorts, Juan Pablo Hernandez, the Germany-based Cuban, has boxed his way back into this. Yeah, he just needs to continue the good work, doesn't he? Continue boxing at range, not taking any risks, keep turning Hernandez, um, Ross. So he can't set himself up for the power shots. The problem, you, sorry, John, the problem you have with Ross is either either way you go, whether it be left or right, either hand's as dangerous as the next, isn't well, you it? Took the words out of my mouth. I was, I, was, I was about to say, you know, you don't really know whether he's real danger shots, his left hand or his right hand. He seems to pack equal power on either side. Hernandez, though, again firing in that really heavy right. Ross just not able to find those big clean shots which gave Hernandez so much trouble in the early stages and notably in the fifth round. Well, this is the sort of fight that we expected, wasn't it, really? Hernandez controlling it from his, with his long punches and Ross falling short most of the time and struggling to find a way inside. But it's been, up until the last couple of rounds, it's been anything but that. Ross waiting for Hernandez to commit himself, and Hernandez, understandably, reluctant to do so. That's better, and his legs did a funny little dance again. Right hand from Ross, and... Yeah, it's a good shot, wasn't it, again? Oh. 
now Hernandez goes to work. He still doesn't want to take any chances though, does he? Well, we're back into the big exchanges coming from both men. Hernandez looking to dish it out, but he's in danger as he does so and gets clipped by a left hand counter. Wild exchanges. Oh, he's one Ross. Now, oh, Ross is in dangerous territory. 30 seconds to go still in this ninth round. And they're both punched out, John, aren't they? to suck it up who has the more left but he is vulnerable as he starts to attack like that but he's been wobbled hasn't he in this round punch it... after the bell there from Hernandez wild excitement and the crowd absolutely living it